en action. This episode of Are Delicious is brought to you with the support of our patrons. Rose, Donna en Ralph, Robert, Rick Conley en Lisa Rose. Get your ticket on the Penelope bus today by visiting patreon.com slash or visiting our website www.arvelicious.com Hop in babe, we're going. Woohoo! the button, Petra. I already did. Oh, hello, buddies. Hello, buddies. Welcome to this van life vlog from the van. Yes, and van life. Van life, full-time van life. <laughs> How do we do it? How do we do the full-time van life from the van? Nice How do we do it? How do we live it? How do we roll? How do we afford the van life? So in case you're new to our van channel, mm -hmm. we are living the full-time van life full-time. Full we time. have been living it for uh, yeah since January the 1st, 2016. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any stuff in storage. Nope. Uh, everything we have and own is in the RV. Yeah. So we are full-time van dwellers in the Netherlands, in Europe. And we'd like to share with you how do we do it. Because a lot of people wonder if they can do it. And we will tell you how you can live in a van full time. Mm -hmm. So I think this will be an interesting video. If you're planning to live in a van or if you're doubting if you can do it, just watch uh, what we have to say. We're talking from the voices of experience. <laughs> yes. So Petra, being yes. um, a fellow full time van dweller, how do we do this? How do we live the van life full time? So if you want to live in a van full time or in your van uh, or you want to buy a van to live full time in, mm -hmm. um, it's important to know why, why you want to do this. Yes. You can have different reasons. It could be mm -hmm. you want to travel your country or you want to have a simple, simpler life like we wanted that for ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we're digital nomads. We're yes. living in the van. We're working in the van. Um, and we don't have any backups anymore, so this is it for us. We mm -hmm. live in it, we don't have storage otherwhere. No. And uh, we don't have a house, we don't have um, any other place than the van. So if you are starting out in the van life, mm -hmm. then you might not even know which van is perfect for you. You might have an idea, you see other van dwellers on YouTube doing the van life. Mm -hmm. And you might think, I want to go with the... The big RV, or I want to go with the, the the nostalgic Volkswagen, or I want to go with um, I don't know a, a something with a big engine, American uh, American uh, truck, yes, or Concord. yeah, or the, like a workman's van or something like that. So we recommend before you spend like all your mm -hmm. money on one type of van, uh, try to drive in a few vans first mm -hmm. and that can be either just going to a to a van dealership or an RV dealer mm -hmm. uh, make a test drive yep. or look around on the internet uh, go check out some second-hand uh, vans that are on offer yes, so rent one for the weekend yeah that's also a great idea mm -hmm. maybe you're you're not sure if you want to do a van or an RV yet it's important to check out both options that we did that too we mm -hmm. we drove a few other vans we were in an rv and we were in some vans mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you get a feel. a feel for it because 
if you just look at the pictures on the internet then it it would always look different in reality so I've, i first thought i wanted small vans and <laughs> Turns out it didn't even fit in them. No. So that's also important. Just stand in there, standing in there, standing in an RV, for example, or mm -hmm. standing in a van and see how do you feel? Do you feel cramped? Do you think, oh, I could do this, or this is mm -hmm. more spacious than I thought? Yep. Sometimes a small van, uh, if you step inside, you see it from the outside, you think, whoa, how can anybody live in there? You step in, you think, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. There's huge in here. Yes. And yeah, you can step in a big RV and think, Ah, oh, looks a bit uh, yes. crampy, cramped. Mm. Make a test drive and see from there. So let's talk a bit more about uh, the van life, the transitioning into the van life. If you're living in a house, mm -hmm. uh, still maybe it's a, a bought house or a rented house. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that's important to realize is that you will have to minimalize if you're going in an RV or in a van. We know of people who uh, rented out their house to mm -hmm. other people, mm -hmm. uh, but that means that you have a responsibility. So you'll be on the road and you always have a responsibility with the people that are renting uh, your house. Mm -hmm. If something yes. happens, you're gonna get a call and you have to take some action. Yep. If you uh, have stuff and you store them at places, if you store your stuff at your parents, at your friends, mm -hmm. then basically, uh, that also can be a ball and chain for you because in the back of your mind you always know oh I have some stuff there eventually comes the point that you're bothering people with your choice with your stuff you want to choose the van life and they have to, to deal with it by mm. having your stuff for us that was a reason to say we don't want to trouble anyone else with our stuff so we're just gonna get rid of as much as we can mm -hmm. and that's easy because that only fits so much in a van or in an RV. If you put it in storage to begin with, it's probably stuff you can go without. If it's something dear to you, just make a picture of it. So then there's the question of the van life and how do you afford it? And you afford it simple by getting rid of as much monthly bills as possible. Um, another thing is how do you are gonna get your income? Because now you're probably working a steady job Mm -hmm. where you have to be present and if you live in the van life you could do that if you stay in the same area then you can just keep the job that you have easily mm -hmm. even sometimes you can work it out with your employer and give them the choice and say look i'm gonna live in the van mm -hmm. uh, i still want to work at this company yes. is, is that possible can we arrange that and in my case i'm a copywriter a web designer paid as a photographer so yeah. for us that's possible we don't mm -hmm. have to be at a company to no. give our services if it's not possible and it might be the case that it's not possible that your employer says no and uh, thinks it's strange that you want to live in a van and um, just look at uh, your work and think is this the only work I can do or can I find similar work elsewhere in the country mm -hmm. and if that's yes. Uh, yes then there's no reason to stay if they're not willing to return yeah. that favor to, to you and yes. say well you're happy here and so we're gonna make this work yes, exactly. then the love is not equally from both sides no, if they don't meet you halfway then you have your answer then you choose the highway it might mean that you have to go on the look for different means of income and mm -hmm. one of the things that we did to solve that was um, creating products to sell so as you can look around in the van you see photographs hanging uh, in here and all those photos are for sale we have a website and the photo is Peter's photos are on there and that was all photos she made since the van life yes so that's awesome and we also make ebooks mm -hmm. we make a digital magazine we've made stickers yes. and we can create more and more products mm -hmm. that we can do from the van yes. and the advantage of ebooks and digital products is that you don't have a physical supply in your van and another way is uh, getting support and the support can be from viewers like mm -hmm. uh, you guys same goes for opportunities like sponsorship we know mm -hmm. of channels they get sponsored we don't have a sponsor yet we do get uh, private donations from people who follow our channel you just have to be um, yeah patient yes. basically mm -hmm. it is hard sometimes it can be frustrating mm -hmm. uh, so it does help if you already saved up a lot of money before you go into the van life mm -hmm. if you haven't doesn't mean you cannot do it we also did it 
um, but it might be a, a bit more of a struggle and it might mean that you cannot travel as far as you anticipated yet so but on the other hand it doesn't matter either because you're not on vacation no nope. so if you cannot travel this year you can travel the next year because you, your whole life will be a travel <laughs> yes it's just one big journey in the van mm, yes van life it's not always sunny if you are starting the van life in the netherlands <laughs> we can assure you <laughs> we wanted to experience the winter yes eh, because for a lot of people they think can you do the van life in the winter Yes. And yes, you can do, and you can do it very comfortably, mm -hmm. because you only need a small heater mm -hmm. to warm up the small van. Yeah, so, so we bought a, a portable heater, mm -hmm. a petroleum heater, and it yes. heats us up so nicely. It's very like comfy. being at a fireplace. A fireplace, yes. yes. And then, then it's no challenge at all to be in the snow or nope. in the cold, because as it, if it gets cold, you just turn on the thing for an hour or so. And your van stays warm the whole night. Mm -hmm. And it gives you another reason to uh, snuggle up mm -hmm. early. Yes. And safety is another thing. If you live in one place, then everybody around you gets to know your schedule. They know when you go to work, they know when you're home. Mm -hmm. um, so if somebody wants to break in, then they, can, they know when you're on vacation, they can break in. Yes. Because you probably say, oh, I'm going on vacation. They see you loading <laughs> up your wagon. And uh, off you go and in they go. When you mm -hmm. live in a van, you stay uh, one day, two days, three days in one spot and then you move on. Yes. And usually you stay surrounded with other camper vans and camper places. Mm -hmm. uh, it's different maybe if you boondock in areas that you don't know very well. Even then, if you are smart about where you're going to stand, mm -hmm. we didn't have any break-ins. Nope. Yeah, we have uh, mm -hmm. Peter's photo gear on board, we have my laptop on board, mm -hmm. we're being sensible about it and not to say that it will never happen. I think in a van you have relatively less chance of break-ins. Yeah, if you have really have an expensive camera, just bring it with you wherever you go. If you have a really yeah. expensive laptop, put it in your backpack, bring it with you wherever you go. Everything yes. that you lose can be replaced. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, what happens if, if somebody steals the van? Well, mm -hmm. uh, then you have to look for another van. You can even, uh, in a van, if you're with two persons, you can say, well, one stays at the, with the van and the other goes into the store if you don't trust it. So, yep. so uh, last thing we want to talk to you about, that if you're starting the van life, then mm -hmm. we really recommend making a van life vlog. Talk about your daily van life, talk about, yes. uh, make, basically it's, it's your online diary. Yes, or blog. Yeah, you talk about what you do, uh, what you experience, because you will, yeah, live through so many days full of adventure that you basically make your own, yeah, you create your own memories. Mm -hmm. uh, and by sharing the van life, um, you can also inspire other people to do it. And that's one reason that we said we're going, if we're going to live in a van, we're going to show how we do it in the van. <laughs> And see how you overcome some challenges, mm -hmm. and that is, um, yeah, I think it's 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 um, it's a great opportunity if you travel in a van to share it. Uh, it also creates opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, people, if people see yes. you do it, then mm -hmm. they can decide to support you. Oh, wait a minute! Don't be clicking your next video yet. <laughs> if you like our content like subscribe uh, support us on patreon <laughs> and check out our website artvillages.com that was it that was it oh